Good day and welcome to Pepper's webinar, Innovations in Beauty B2B Sales, how beauty brands use mobility to supercharge B2B sales. My name is Netta Weinrib and I'm Head of Enterprise Marketing at Peppery. We'll start by diving right in. We'll look at the ways mobility can change the way you work with your B2B customers, help you increase sales, improve productivity and more. We'll then turn the mic over to our guest speakers, Minta Gio and Shane Brown of Beauty Solutions, who will share their experience in using mobility to improve the efficiency of their sales force. We'll then demo a system that is similar to the one Beauty Solutions is using. We'll sum things up by answering your questions. To ask your questions, just type them in the bottom right pane of the GoToWebinar window. Very briefly, introducing Pe Peppery. Peppery has been helping brands and wholesalers to transform their businesses since 2011. Our 1,000 customers' thoughts, ideas, and feedback are the basis of what we're going to share in this webinar. You can see some of our beauty customers and the brands they represent. Beauty Solutions, Paul Mitchell, Parsa, Advangen, Vegan Pharma, Bisu, Peludio are only some of our, our beauty cost customers. As you know, there are many types of beauty products and many types of customers. It is clear to us that how you sell to your B2B customer is greatly affected by who your customer is and what your product is. There is a significant difference between selling to the stylist at a hair salon in LA, selling to the perfume boutique in central New York, and selling to the, social, sorry, to the local drugstore in a small town in Nebraska. Still, we see quite a few commonalities so that we can ignore the differences and focus on the matter at hand, we chose to illustrate this webinar with photos from another field altogether. Let's start by having a look at the consumer, your customer's customer. She's mobile, she uses social networks, she, she searches online for information, so she's using Instagram, Facebook, Yelp, Google, your B2B beauty customer is also, in his private life, a consumer. So he too lives in a world where mobility is part of, ev of everyday life. In his professional life, just as it is in his private life, he is socially influenced, researches and purchases online, and can and does look for different products and better deals online. So when we look at selling to the B2B customer, it only makes sense to look at the consumer and how successful companies sell to her. Omnichannel, reaching the customer both online and in the brick and mortar world is a cornerstone for today's brands. All brands have an online presence and brands that started online like Warby Parker are opening brick and mortar shops. As a consumer, you probably see brands reaching out to you with promotions, loyalty programs and gamification. You probably noticed also that your homepage on Amazon, for example, is very different from that of your kid. It is personalized and designed to include items which are right for you. If our B2B customer is similar to the consumer in the way he lives, it only makes sense that we learn from B2C sales tactics and find a way to apply them to our work with beauty B2B customers. Let's dive right in. Omnichannel is a big word. Fairly simple concept though, engaging with the customers through several channels. In our case, the main two channels are online, when the customer orders from his home, office, or the store, using a website or a mobile app, and in person, when the B2B customer meets the sales rep at the store or point of service. By the way, research shows that in omnichannel, cross-pollination is key. Visitors of an online site will buy more on-site and vice versa. Well, what Omnichannel is, is a simple question to answer. It is important to remember that Omnichannel has immediate effect on many other aspects of B2B sales and beauty. Let's explore them. The most important one is the changing role of the sales rep. As the sales rep is not busy taking order orders or is not as busy taking orders because some orders are placed by the customer and because mobile solutions help her to take orders faster, she has more time. In the store, she can use this, the time to build relationship with the customer, train him, promote products or business processes such as self-service ordering. She can also use the free time to find additional business 
or if her employer, employer decides to serve more customers. The new B2B rep is consultative, productive, builds relationships, and acquires new customers. So the rep changes his or her role from order taking only to relationship building and business development. Building relationship with the customers, one of the new roles of the B2B rep, requires intimate knowledge of the customer. Mobile, te mobile technology makes the customer's information available to reps in the field and is a great basis on which a stronger relationship can be built. Our customers tell us that their best reps not only make an effort to educate the customers about their products, they also try to help them improve their business by offering advice and sharing best practice insights they have collected in the field. With mobile solutions, the rep can gather visual information in the field. The obvious tasks are stock taking and replenishment and shelf share audit. But there's more that can be done. The rep can be used to bring marketing intelligence to management by taking pictures of competitors' display, signage, and campaigns. So the sales rep with mobile technology can become your eyes in the field, collect and visual data, and enable management to compare it. In the beauty world, promotions are key. They enable you, as a brand or wholesaler, to push sales of specific products, to promote new products, to increase overall sales, and to reward loyalty. More on that in a second, in a in couple of slides. In an omni-channel environment, it is important that management has the ability to design and implement campaigns as a response to changing market conditions. To be successful, campaigns should be implemented in all channels and should become part of the sales process for both in-person and online sales. So campaigns in an omni-channel environment should be defined by management but applied everywhere. For campaigns to be effective, they need to match the profile of the target customer. As we saw earlier, the use of mobile technology allows you to collect a lot of information in the field and to see how your customers responded to past offers and campaigns. Based on the information you have about your customers, you can choose which catalogs and prices to offer them and how to tailor promotions for them. With personalization being consistent across channels, self-service self and in-store is key. Two more things that we can take from the B2C world are loyalty programs and gamification. In parts of the beauty world, switching costs are low. low sorry, trying to and adopting new products in relatively, is relatively easy. You want your B2B customers to be loyal. Give them a reason. Reward loyalty. Create a game, a competition, set a goal. You will be surprised to see what businesses will do for a small reward. Hint, it's not the reward. It's the feeling that they've won. Here again, implementation across all channels is key. Of course, rewards can be used to encourage customers to order via the self-service channel. Rewards and games are a great way to alter the behavior and affect the decisions of your customers. So to, su something, to sum up this part of the webinar, when selling to B2B customers, omnichannel, personalization, promotions, loyalty programs, and gamifications, gamification sorry, are all key. Mobile technology, not available to all, makes them easy to plan and implement. Just before we're going to um, ask uh, Shane and Minza to uh, join us, um, we want to do a quick poll. It's going to appear on your screens, and we'd appreciate it if you could um, give us your answer. The question is, what sales channels are you using today? Are you using field sales reps, B2B website, uh, customers call or email the orders in, or are you using other sales channels? Please look at your GoToWebinar screen to see the um, poll questions. We have 60, 70% of the attendees already answered the question. We see that um, it's about, I mean, the, the answers are equally divided so far between field sales reps, B2B website, and customers calling or email the orders in. 
18% of you are using other means, and I would love if you could love it if you could sort of send me a, a message through the question uh, panel and tell tell me what you're using. I'm very curious to hear. Okay, let's move on. Hello. Hello. Hello, Netta. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you doing? I'm good. Hold on here, Shane. Hello. Hi, Netta. So, um, why don't you start by telling us a little bit about Beauty Solutions, um, your roles at Beauty Solutions, um, how the company works, etc. Uh, I'm sorry, say that one more time. Why don't we start by you telling us a bit about beauty solutions and uh, what you guys do at the company? Okay. Um, well, beauty solutions, we're obviously we're a distributor, um, and we have been in business. We're coming up to our uh, close to our nine nine and a half years. Um, we cover California, Arizona, Nevada, which are all very uh, very dense, big demographics. Um, uh, we, um, our main customer is definitely the uh, salon, stylist, beauty supplies. Um, we service um, anywhere between 16,000 customers um, individually because we have such a large independent contractor uh, market here. Um, currently we have about 35 reps um, and we are looking to hire an additional 24 by the end of this year. So we're definitely in a growth mode. Um, and we have um, um, anywhere between 2,300 to 2,500 SKUs that we work with. Um, we have a very heavy duty service business in terms of our color and then our extension business. Um, so lots of individual SKUs in those, in those particular lines. So lots to manage. <laughs> okay, uh, would you like to tell us a little bit about what you do at Beauty Solutions? Um, I am the Director of Sales so um, I run the entire sales division. Um, I've been doing this for over 23 years, um, always in the professional market, always in, on the distribution side. Um, I manage uh, the I have five sales managers right now. Like I said, 35 sales reps in the three states. I also directly supervise our three inside sales consultants. Um, I create all the new hire formats um, I, uh, and the content. Um, so all the training of the new hires comes uh, pretty much comes from me. Um, I create and I conduct different business training classes for salon owners and stylists. I teach those classes in salons all over California, Arizona, Nevada. Um, I also coordinate all the and facilitate um, the sales meetings and the trainings um, with our sales consultants as well as our manufacturers on a monthly basis. So that's kind of a snapshot <laughs> of what I do. Okay, uh, would you or Shane would like to introduce Shane? Yeah, so Shane, um, I'm gonna pass it over to him. He is our IT and marketing, and hold on one second. So my name's Shane, and I am a Beauty Solutions IT and marketing coordinator. So um, I run the IT department, and I also work a little bit in marketing. So I manage our NetSuite as our ERP. And I have been um, setting up and working with Peppery uh, quite a bit. Uh, I do our online web stores. Um, I also do all of our uh, internal networking and um, and uh, warehouse workflows and uh, fulfillment workflows. Um, and I also uh, do marketing uh, email campaigns as well as uh, online um, blog artic articles as well. So um, let's dive right in, and I wanted to ask you, what would you say were the main challenges that made you look for a mobile sales rep solution? Uh, right off the bat, the main challenge after we, cause we switched to NetSuite, and by switching to NetSuite, we ended up needing to find a mobile solution, and um, we found that there was nothing that had offline ordering uh, in the capacity that we wanted, and that was to be able to basically have all of the information that we needed available to us even while we're offline. Um, we don't supply devices to our sales team, so it's important that uh, they're able to uh, use an offline app because they don't have uh, cell reception on their iPads. So sometimes when they go into a salon, they're able to get on Wi-Fi for a little bit or stop at a coffee shop, 
um, for a little bit to get some Wi-Fi. So it's important that we're able to have something that can sync um, while they're offline. Uh, we also have a huge catalog and being able to organize that catalog into different, you know, by brand, uh, by class, by uh, product size, um, any, anything we really needed to. Um, we needed something that would help the reps uh, quickly order by kind of organizing the items. Uh, like, you know, we have our top items, our monthly promotional items are all organized into different sections, makes it easy to find. Um, also, our sales reps didn't have very much visibility into um, their accounts that they were servicing. So they had to call our internal customer service department for pretty much any information. If they needed even contact, uh, contact information like phone numbers and emails, they would have to call our internal department to get that information. So uh, being able to have all of that at their uh, fingertips was well, another one of our goals. Um, also, we do have a pretty wide range of uh, clientele, so it's important that we're able to offer different payment methods to our customers, and Peppery's really let us uh, let us do that. Um, we've been able to accommodate everyone's different uh, payment methods, which has been great. Um, another very important thing is being able to see people's past purchases, um, especially with our uh, our Hotheads hair extension clients. It's important that they're able, to, they usually want to know, you know, what colors they ordered uh, recently, so we can we can tell them exactly what they've ordered in the past so that they can uh, reorder stuff. Okay. Um, so, Minda, do you want, is there any, would you like to add something to that from your point? Yeah, let me, um, let me pass the phone off to, uh, off to Minda here. Give me one second. I'm sorry, what was the question? Um, what was your, in, in, from your perspective, what was, you know, why you were looking for a mobile solution? What were your needs? Um, oh, before we got peppery, um, definitely having um, the ability to see um, as much customer information as possible um, while the rep is out in the field. Anytime you break momentum in a in a in a sales call, um, having to go and make a phone call to the office, you know, there's time that you're waiting. Um, it takes up time with, within the office, them looking for things. It just, it doesn't give that complete customer experience that we're really trying to achieve. And so now that the reps can be able to really at a click of a button, be able to say, oh yeah, here's, you know, here's where, here's what you did. Here's the color that you ordered. Here's, here's what it looks like. Here, let me show you a video. Let me show you, um, you know, everything is right in front of them. Um, it just makes that customer experience so much more, um, uh, the flow is so much better, so much more effective and, and definitely way more impactful. Um, so that was, um, that, that's definitely something that has been um, a really great tool and was something that we really wanted to continue to achieve um, and, and, and we felt was missing. Um, so yeah, and then the offline thing is definitely important because um, again, uh, you know, the internet can always be a little tricky and you know we we cover such a large geographical area that in some cases when you have reps in some of these more rural type um, areas they just don't have access and so they have to still be able to do their job and not take it to a manual situation where they're writing things down um, it, that can create errors and mistakes so to have it all right there um, has been you know, is definitely was one of the things we wanted to look at. And anything that can be um, a lot more efficient and, and fast. You know, the faster that we can get an order taken, um, placed, and then sent down to our warehouse, shipped, picked, packed, and out the door um, is going to create uh, opportunity for us to continue to keep increasing our sales revenue and keep increasing the opportunity for the rep to have more time to be able to talk about other things than other than just either troubleshooting problems or just taking orders. Excellent. Um, so, if you you've mentioned some of the changes in the way the sales reps uh, are doing business since they got the mobile solution from Peppery, can you can you um, sort of describe how you how your day or how you work uh, changed because of Peppery? Um, I would say that probably the biggest thing is just again the 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 speed and efficiency and and the less amount of phone calls that they are um, having to make to get into the office. Um, 
you know, our our internal office is is not only fielding calls from from reps, but they're fielding calls from customers, and so you know that that creates hold time, that creates um, extra time, that all those kind of things. So we've seen a, a definite drop off in terms of the amount of calls that the rep had to make internally. Um, and so, like I said, it just it just makes their job easier. They're able. It keeps. It also allows them to have some balance, and they're not doing so much homework in terms of having to get home and having to um, let me let me put this down somewhere. Let me let me measure this result because it's all right there in front of them, and they can quickly be able to update information, have things right at their fingertips. Um, so. Uh, my belief and my expected belief it's going to give them a much better quality of their own lives that they can come home and they can sort of be done <laughs> with work a little bit where before there was a lot of after stuff that they had to do because they didn't have that ability um, to get it done in the field. That's great. Um, Shane, is there any anything from your side, your your point of view that you'd like to add? I'm sorry, can you say that one more time? Is there something you'd like to add from your point of view in terms of um, the changes um, that Peppery introduced to the way you work or, or beauty solutions work? Well, um, we did have an extremely short um, amount of time when we went into this project. Um, we needed something and we kind of needed something really fast. And from the time that we signed to the time that we went live with Peppery, it was only about six weeks it was a uh, it was a lot of work in those six weeks but we uh i just don't we wouldn't have been able to do that with anything else and um that was really important to us also was that we would have something that would be ready for when we went live um, and peppery is fully integrated into our current uh, erp so we are able to pull any information that we have on the customer we're able to present to our sales reps out in the field and that information is available to them offline so um, especially in our business, you know, it's professionals only. So things like their cosmetology license number and their, you know, we need to make sure that the license is current. So the expiration date of that license and maybe what type of license it is, whether they're barber or esthetician, it's important to know this information when they're out, when they're out there with their customers. So being able to see all of that, um, anything that we have on the customer, being able to see that out in the field is great. Um, so another, you know, another thing is the, uh, the inventory and how it's always up to date. So um, for some of our products, like our uh, Hothead brand, our hair extensions, um, we don't carry very many for each of the of the colors because they're so popular. They're always uh, selling out, and it's important that a sales rep doesn't sell them something that um, that we don't have in stock because their their inventory is not up to date. So we have an extremely up to date inventory. So a rep can tell their customer with confidence that you know we have this product in, in stock and we're going to be able to ship it to you. So um, that's been that's been great for us. In, and also, we have a lot of promotions in our in our industry. We have a, a ton of different promotions that we're always doing, and be, they change all the time. And being able to uh, quickly make changes to those promotions, click a button, and have it be effect, effective to all of our sales reps um, it, almost immediately is uh, is extremely it's an extremely powerful tool. And uh, another one also is uh, the images. Having images for things has been great as well because we do sell some products that really it's hard to sell without without an image of what you're looking at. Um, you know, a lot of like merchandising materials and posters and things like that that it's just difficult to sell if you don't have an image. So um, having the images has been um, another added benefit to our uh, to our sales team as well. And they can even um, then show those images to their clients. So you know, now they can have a, uh, they can have their hair extensions, their hair colors. They can have those swatches uh, available to them all on their iPad to, you know, turn the screen around and say, hey, here's what this color looks like. Um, they can show them all of the different um, colors that are available. And stylists are extremely visual, so um, it's important that they're able to to see what it is that they're about to order. So um, it's been really helpful in that way as well. Okay. Um, closing remarks from either of you, Shane or Minda? Um, I think, you know, uh, we're excited about, you know, the, the, um, the, the updates and the next functionality that I think this, this app 
can bring. I don't even still believe we're we've even scratched the surface of all the different things that it has the the potential to do. I know that it's got um, one of the next features we're going to be opening up is the mapping um, routing feature, which allows the rep to be able to really effectively route their um, you know their 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 rotations and to have that be as efficient as possible as a as a as a as a leader and a manager to be able to see that and see what what they're doing and where they're going and where they're spending their time um how we can continue to add reps into the field in the most effective way um that feature is going to be awesome so um as as well as it gives them you know gps directions right out in the field so especially for new people who are just learning their territories um any time that they can make that part of their their job a lot more efficient and quicker and less windshield time is, is certainly um, a, a big a big feature. So I'm I'm excited to see what the next step's going to to bring and I anticipate it being, um, you know, us getting a, a our our results are going to be even better. So that's kind of where I'm at. I'll let's pass it over to Shane. Well, like Minda said, um, you know, we've barely scratched the surface in terms of what we're doing, um, you know, the more time you have, the more robust you can make peppery, and um, we're going to be working on bringing um, everything that we can to our to our reps. So uh, we're going to be upgrading as many features as we can and giving them what they need to to be able to do everything they um, all of their tasks in the uh, in the field using peppery. So um, so the activity planning, being able to schedule their day out, and uh, be able to look at that on a time frame, be able to say, okay, th during this window of time, I need to be at this salon and being able to click that and just have it navigate straight to the salon is going to be a huge time saver for them. And it's going to let them worry on, you know, upselling their customers and, and uh, wor worry about things like that instead of just getting there and, and uh, navigating around. So there's going to be a, a lot of cool features that um, are going to be coming to our Peppery environment pretty soon too. Thank you very much, Minda and Shane. Uh, Minda and Shane will, be, will answer some of your questions after the short demo. Just before okay. the demo, um, I'd like to share another poll with you. And this, this time the question is, what um, are your field reps doing in the field? So we talked about the changing role of the field rep, and we would like to know what your field reps are doing. Are they only taking orders? Do they do merchandising? customer training, new customer acquisition, or maybe you don't have sales reps at all. Um, and the results are in. We have um, most, um, over 50% of you have your, your sales reps do new customer acquisition. Um, and the next is 45% taking orders in the field. A third are doing merchandising activities, and 20% are doing customer training. 40% um, of you do not have sales reps at all, so you probably work B2B or have your customers uh, calling your, the orders. Okay, we'll now, we'll now continue and uh, show you the system that some of our customers are using to do all that we've uh, discussed and described earlier. Hi, my name is Mirav. I'm the Product Knowledge Manager at Peppery. I'll be showing you a demo where I play the role of a salon owner placing a self-service order in the Peppery app. Then I'll play the role of a beauty sales rep starting from planning my daily visits to arriving at customers and viewing their history to prepare for the sale. Then I'll carry out various activities such as a replenishment order and a shelf share audit. Lastly, I'll play the role of a sales manager, viewing reports and dashboards and tracking the activities of my sales reps in the field. I am now a salon owner, ordering items for my salon. I love ordering from this distributor because they offer the peppery B2B storefront and mobile app. It's easy to log into the Peppery app from my tablet or mobile phone and place my order. When I order on my own, I get my loyalty points and I get a 3% discount for using self-service. I enter my payment details. 
I pay for the order, and easy, I'm done. I'm now switching roles. I'm the beauty sales rep, planning and executing a visit to my customer. On the peppery home screen, I can see that I have a message from my manager that shows me that there is a new promotion for certain products. It's good information to know and a great way to communicate using Peppery's messages. My plan for today is to visit medium to large customers and prospects from the city of Las Vegas that haven't been visited for the last two months. So I'll pull these up quickly using our smart account search. I know that my manager already planned a few meetings for me, so I'll look on my agenda. I'm left with one account here in the area that meets my filter criteria that I see is close on the map to the visits I already have planned for today. So I'm going to tap on that account and add it to my calendar in between the two visits I already have scheduled. So I'm going to start my day at Las Vegas Store 1. Let's see the best way to get there using Waze or Google Maps or other navigation apps on my mobile device. A visit is most efficient if I'm familiar with the customer's history of activities. For that purpose, I use the account dashboard. I see a red exclamation mark indicating notifications that I have for this customer. Without even having to look for anything, they're presented to me. I see the customer has exceeded their credit limit and, if I need, I can always drill down to the details of each outstanding invoice. I can also see that I have a task to check the status of their license. I go to the account information details, and I can see that their license is valid, and I may proceed with the sale. The Recent Activities bar presents the last activities that have been done by this customer. And if I'd like to see the details of any one of those activities, I can drill down into each one. I'll now drill down to read the last visit report that I wrote for this customer so I can refresh my memory. This specific customer is using our B2B mobile storefront. I can see that they placed a self-service order recently. Here is the B2B order. I see he got the additional 3% discount I give to encourage my B2B self-service channel. I now want to check if there are any unshipped or unpaid orders for this customer. In my activity screen, I can filter by shipping status to see orders that haven't been shipped or by payment status to see orders with payment in progress or invoice sent. Back on the account dashboard, the BI charts allow me to understand the business of this customer. I can see that so far in January, the customer is ordering less than they did last January. Here, I can see the top products sold by this customer. The other thing I want to check before the visit is my own status regarding my personal targets. I look at my sales targets by brand name and I see the red bars, which mean that I'm under target for that brand. So I'll push those brands to reach my targets. Since I can also use Peppery to log returns, I'd like to see another type of chart here about returns, and I can request it from my manager, because all these charts are totally configurable. So I've planned my day, I've reviewed my customer information, and now I'm ready to sell. Now that I'm fully prepared, I arrive at the store and start replenishment and order taking. In the catalog, my main navigation tools are the smart catalog filters, such as new arrivals and bestsellers. They allow me to quickly get to subgroups of products. For each product, I have all the information that I need to enable me to provide an immediate response to the customer's questions. I have marketing collateral, such as promotional video and PDFs. All are also available in an offline environment.
My next step is to replenish the stock in the store. I see the recommended in-store amount in the system. I count the stock on hand and then the system automatically lets me know how many of each item to order, which I can always change manually if needed. For speedy stock counting, I can use a barcode scanner or my device's camera to quickly scan in UPC product codes. I'm now done with replenishment and I'm offering the customer our new buy 25, pay for 20 promotion. The customer selects 25 colors to make up a box and will only pay for 20 of them. Once I've completed the order taking process, I click on the cart button to summarize the sale. The presented prices are a result of management defined price lists and campaigns. I've added testers of each color at no cost, and the quantity is limited to one for tester items. The customer will receive this PDF copy of the order by email. I take a digital signature from the customer and submit the order. I've been alerted that the customer can add a few more items to the order to get an additional discount. The customer decided to add the items and Peppery has helped me do an upsell. I'm notified of the loyalty points the customer has been given for this order. The customer is directed to make a payment via PayPal. Peppery also supports integration with other payment providers. Great, I'm done with replenishing and order taking. Now I'll submit a shelf share audit to make sure the customer is abiding by our display agreement. I fill in the details and add photos of the shelf before and after my visit. To sum things up, I've provided a state-of-the-art buying experience to my customer and captured his order efficiently and accurately and ensured that I maximize the order's potential. Let's briefly review what I've just done. I've planned my route. I reviewed customer license, performing, shipping, and billing. I've replenished store stock. I've presented and sold promotion items. I've used business rules for loyalty points and discount thresholds. And I've conducted a shelf share audit. I'll now show you the reports and dashboards that I use as a sales manager. As a manager, I have two tools, the app configured for the manager and focused on managing and reporting, as well as the web back office. Using these tools, I'll be tracking my targets, my team's targets and sales activities, product campaign success, top stores, and my brand targets. I can always replace my reps in their daily activities if required. I can go into any store and perform the same tasks that my reps are performing. I'll now start my review of my sales team and my stores. I want to see where I stand this month relative to my targets. The numbers are increasing. This is great. I can see that since we started using Peppery, our sales have grown consistently. Next, I'd like to see who's contributing to the targets. I see that Michael is excelling, and I see that Mark is way below his goal. So I made a note to speak with Mark, and I'll use Peppery to try and find out why his sales are low. Let's look at Mark's brand breakdown. I see he isn't selling from Newbie, which is the new collection. Now I want to check how my summer promotions are doing. I have a campaign set up for a few brands to try and move the summer seasonal stock since it's nearing the end of the season. I can see the amount I still have left in stock and the amount I managed to sell. I see that brands A and B are doing okay, but brand C is not being sold at a high rate. I need to put those items on a steeper discount and let the reps know. I now want to see how my top six locations are performing. I see that the club shop store is not selling as much as the others. 
I need to schedule Michael to visit them right away. I'll schedule him to be there on Tuesday, since I know he'll be in Manhattan that day anyway. I want to check on some of the shelf share audits that my reps are supposed to be doing and see how we're doing on shelf share agreements. I open up the activity list for the audits and I see that since the last visit, shelf share for this brand has actually improved and the store is abiding by the agreements. With Peppery, my reps are my eyes in the field and I can keep track of what is happening. The policy in our company is to use the reps as ambassadors to promote B2B self-service ordering. We pay them full commission on those orders. Obviously, Jenny is doing a great job promoting self-service ordering. In my next sales meeting, I'll ask her to share her best practice with the team. I want to check my sales by brand. I see that the chic Bella and the new B are selling well. However, the new brand we just started selling is not selling well, and we need to talk to them and decide what to do. Let's review what I did. I reviewed my own monthly targets, my team's targets and performance, my promotional campaign effectiveness, my top stores, our brands, and self-service ordering. Thanks to Peppery, I got the full picture. Thank you, Mara, for the demo. Um, we have quite a few questions from the audience. We'll start uh, by um, the first one would be, I think Minda may want to answer this one. Uh, the question is, we are a boutique facial care company selling to estheticians. How is what you show today relevant to me? Uh, Minda, do you have any comments on this or should I take the question? I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear that question. What was it? Um, someone from the audience is asking, they're saying we're a boutique facial care company selling to estheticians. How is what you showed today relevant to us? You mean selling to estheticians? Yes. Um, you know, I mean, the, 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 the process utilizing peppery is going to be the same. Um, the difference and dealing with estheticians and dealing with hairdressers is just the accessibility to get to the esthetician. <laughs> so, um, so that's, but in terms of utilizing peppery and, you know, having um, everything there at your fingertips is, is if I'm understanding the question is, is still the same, that the challenge that um, we had when we had skincare is just the sales cycle itself is, you know, you, you when you walk into a salon, you have a hairdresser right there on the floor that you can talk to right away. You know, you're not necessarily having to work on appointment where when you're dealing with estheticians, they're behind closed doors, you have to book appointments, you have to try to get to them. But in terms of, of how peppery would work in that in that atmosphere, um, I think you'd have the same the same experience. It's just the process to actually get to the to the customer is different. Does, does, does that does that answer the question? Yes, thank you very much. Um, okay. There is another question, and the question is, um, let me just quickly, there are quite a few questions, so I need to find um, the one that we can address here. If there are any questions that we can't address during the webinar, we'll personally address them after the webinar. Um, so the other question is, we have 15 sales reps in the field, and we're looking to um, adding a B2B site. What should we look for? So I think I'll take this um, question. And I think the most important thing, and we've discussed this during the webinar today, is to remember that as a beauty company, you have campaigns, you have, um, you, you want uh, your sales reps to promote your B2B site. That's key for the success of the B2B site. You have agents in the field, your sales reps that are talking to your customers, they are the ones who are going to promote the B2B site. In order for them to do that, you need to compensate them for the business that are that they are effectively losing by promoting the B2B site. So you have to be to do some careful channel management there. Um, and the only probably the only way to do it effectively and to do it efficiently is by having 
the B2B commerce site and the sales reps using the same back up, the same platform so that you can um, give credit to the sales reps for the, the orders that their customers make on in the B2B site. You can define campaigns and apply them both to the B2B site and to what the sales reps are doing in the field. So using one platform is probably the only way a company this size can manage both channels, the, the direct sales rep channel and the B2B self-service channel. Um, I think we're running out of time, so I'm going to thank you all. We're going to answer the rest of the questions um, in person. And I would like to thank again uh, Minda and Shane for joining us today and thank all of you for um, listening in and looking forward to seeing you in our next webinars. Have a nice day.